Would you look at that? It's the Tower of Fragrances. I ain't never seen nothing like that before. Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Gen Sense. Hope you're doing well. Uh, in case you can't tell, we got a little haul video here today. A little haul of, of fragrances from Rosasi. Got my hands on these actually a while back and just obviously haven't opened them up. So I figured let's put them all together. Uh, just crack them open and, and see what's doing here. About a month and a half ago or so, I feel like it was a month and a half, I don't know, I lose track on time. I, I did something similar to this, four other Rosasi fragrances that I hadn't seen anything about, and I found two that really stood out to me. First one is this one, Victory for Men, and the other one, ooh, this one, It's Essential, which was my, my favoriteest, my most happiest favoriteest one. This is a clone of L'Homme Ultime from Yves Saint Laurent. L'Homme Ultime was a longtime favorite of mine, especially during spring and summertime, when you could find it. It got discontinued, but I put that one like toward the top of multiple top 10 designer list for spring videos at the time you could actually find it because I wore that stuff out. And to have this one come out and smell as close as it does to L'Homme Ultime, I love it. So this was like the standout. This was the one where I just and at the time I did that video, um, you could find it for like 20 some bucks. Like that's what I got it for. And then the video came out and the price shot up to like 40 something, <laughs> but it went back down to I think like 22 or something like that on Fragrance Buy. So this absolutely killer. And then the other one, Victory for Men is also a discontinued fragrance or a clone of a discontinued fragrance. This one is a clone of uh, Very Valentino, which is also really, really nice. So those two really got my attention and I wanted to uh, check out more, I wanted more. And now I have more, and uh, here they are. So this is what we're taking a look at today. These are the ones I have procured. I'll have them linked in the description. I'm gonna go over the names really quickly with you here. Style Icon for Men, Brilliant Gold, Elite Man, and Brilliant Silver. I noticed that with Brilliant Silver, it sounds like there's a little something something in there. Did I win a prize? So I'm gonna open these up with you guys here today. I'm gonna smell them, let you know what I think about them, let you know what the quality of these are, and also let you know what these are clones of, because that's kind of important, isn't it? So yeah, like I said, linked in the description, you can find these. And uh, also I got some other ones as well, so I'll probably do another haul here in like a few weeks or something like that. I'll try to control my, my desire to open them up beforehand, that way I can just do it you know, like this. So we're gonna start off with Brilliant Silver, which is the one that has a, a prize in there. I'm hopeful that these are gonna be really good, you know? Don't wanna be let down, ruin my day. So here we got the box you have there on the front, the name of the house, same of the fragrance and the concentration, as well as your sticker of authenticity. Eau de Parfum is the concentration, ingredients on the back, badge code on the bottom. Gonna keep it pretty quick with the presentation, not go into too much detail, that way we can keep it moving. So let's go ahead and Pull that out. It's just the little the little freebie it was dangling around in there. So I got a freebie of passion. Little itty bitty, tiny itty bitty, itty bitty little tiny sample. About as small a sample as you'll ever see. How cute. Uh, they put those in each one of these. That's what I have noticed. And then there's also a booklet in each one of these as well, which gives you just a bunch of pictures of fragrances and write-ups and things like that. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Words. There's words. I do not need that. I will pretend it is a football. Here we got the bottle. Pretty sleek looking. It says brilliant on the side right there. Has a little dangly like Rasasi dog tag of sorts that bangs into the bottle. So that's fun. Got the name of the house, name of the fragrance right there on the front. Rasasi up top. Sticker on the bottom that just says Eau de Parfum. All right, let's give this guy a spray. See what it is. All right. Ooh, nice atomizer. Gotta clean my area up here a little bit. Hello! <laughs> Hello, friend. That is Ganymede AF. That is easily <laughs> Ganymede. Like, no mistaking, the second you spray that on, that minerality that Ganymede has uh, comes through very strongly here. A little sweet, a touch of sweetness off the top, not too much. That is heckin', heckin' good. This is the closest other uh, Ganymede clone that I have. This one is Masa by Latafa. This is closer to uh, actual Ganymede, the Rosasi. Masa has more of that sweetness, less of the uh, minerality, like that fuzziness that Ganymede has. Very clean as well. Once again, I am doing a haul at the same time that I'm wearing a fragrance as, as 
typically happens. Normally I would go ahead and just spray it on uh, somewhere where I haven't sprayed the fragrance on, but I have sprayed the fragrance on uh, about everywhere. So it ain't happening today, guys, sorry. I would just be wearing this and this and this and this over top something else and it would just foobar the whole thing. Ooh, yeah, off a strip, this is, this is noticeably closer to just straight up Ganymede. So if you were looking for like a closer one-to-one -one clone, not a twist, that would be the way to go. Okay, let me move you. That is a really, really, really good start. If nothing else, then at least there's that. You know, if these don't work out, then that one sure does. Elite Man is next. All right, so just a quick look at the box. Uh, for the most part, all of these uh, share a similar template as far as the, the presentation style goes of the boxes. They all have Rasasi on the back right here. They've got the little sticker up there. Got the info the same on the back right here. Uh, so really uh, pretty similar all the way across, just different designs. Uh, there we go, a booklet, a little freebie. Which one is this? Wood Excess, Wood Excess. Room. So Elite Man, this is the same bottle shape as a Victory for Men. So very, very similar other than obviously the coloration and the name Elite instead of Victory. All right, let's give Elite Man a spray and see what's going on with this guy. Come on. There, but didn't want to spray for me. Yeah, I can smell that already. Decent pop right there. All right, that is another one that you can tell pretty quick what that is. That is in the style of an Aventus fragrance, but it's not straight up um, like a one-to-one. -one. It's a little fruit forward. It's got that woodiness there, but it does have off the strip anyway, more fruitiness, a little bit sweet, but in a really appealing way. Somewhat, somewhat more of a natural fruity sweetness to it as compared to like an overly sugary one, but it does have good sweetness there. Quality's nice. Uh, it doesn't hit the strip and come off, you know, chemically or anything. So that's a plus. Some Aventus clones, and you know what I'm talking about, have an opening that can be a bit funky for some people, uh, a little harsh, a little hard to wear for some people with this one. Smooth, right off the rip. I'd be a liar if I told you uh, that, you know, a Aventus, to me, Aventus alternatives when I smell it, that I don't just go, oh, another one. Yay, I'm so pumped. Yeah, I'm not like ecstatic about that, but this is a solid one. This is a really good one. I think between the two, yeah, the Ganymede one, brilliant silver, because there aren't as many alternatives to Ganymede. I mean, really, you got a few, and, um, I would have to do a one-to-one -one comparison against all three. I mean, I did compare it to Masa here, uh, but just off this strip, which again, it is off a strip, but off the strip here, that could be the best one. Ooh, I mean, this is nice. This is real nice. It is a fruit forward, sweet Aventus style of, uh, of clone, of alternative which means that it could remind you of a number of other fragrances, other niche fragrances that are similar to Aventus, but it's really, really nice. And I like that it doesn't go, um, you know, forward with a harsher citrus, which again, like lemon or something like that, no. Good pineapple coming through on this one, bergamot, and actually the longer it stays on the strip, the better it smells. So that's actually really nice as well. So we're, we're two for two here. I'm more excited for that one, but this is right up there with some of the better Aventus alternatives from your, your typical suspects. Uh, this one is Brilliant Gold up next. It's a little a little bee flower. Does that one have that as well? It does not. Oops. Brilliant Silver has no flower. Brilliant Gold does. All right, let's see what you are. Whoop. Oh, same bottle style. Looks nice. What have I got? Elite Lady. <laughs> Just what I always wanted. Nice. I can't wait to try Elite Lady. I do like that they throw those little samples in there though. Pretty cool. A little freebie for you. So uh, same bottle style as Brilliant Silver, only this one has um, you know, kind of like a, a matte look to it for the little faux metallic pieces on the cap and the side as compared to silver over here. Got my little dangly piece that I love so much. All right, let's see. There we go. Oh, okay. Also strong. For a split second there, my brain was like, doop, 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 computing, computing. Oh, because I know that I've smelled it before, but it was one of those things where <laughs> I was like, wait, what? What is that? I know that I've smelled that before. But then it was like, oh yeah, 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 it's obvious, it's obvious, never mind. That is truly one of the most frustrating things of all time when you smell a fragrance and you know it smells similar to something else that you've smelled before, but you can't 
quite put your finger on what that is. You're like, I know it smells like something, something that I possibly even own or have owned, but I don't know what it is. Like, it's so frustrating. This is, um, this is Ombre Nomad. Really nice one, once again. So I think, you know, the last four that I tried, It's Essential was the standout for me. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, and then Victory was below that. And then the other two, uh, one was Food for Greatness. And then one was like Dracar Noir. And it was kind of kind of like that, as far as like how much each one jumped out at me. Ombre Nomad does have a number of alternatives out there, very popular fragrance. Um, so it's it's not quite on the level of Ventus as far as alternatives go, but it is one that I've smelled a bunch of. But this is one of the better ones. It's really smooth. So you have that rose, that spiciness, maybe not quite as dark as, uh, as the LV, but the quality once again is very good off the strip here. These are impressive so far. Don't screw it up style icon. I'm gonna come back to these, you know, after I do the last one here, kind of wrap it up, but let's move this and see what's going on with Style Icon. The box actually reminds me uh, vaguely of uh, Creed, like the kind of crinkly paper look to it with the uh, kind of green look there. It's like green hours tweed, just the, the look of the box. And that's me reaching a little bit, but that's just what it reminded me of when I first saw it. All right, let's just open this up. What freebie did I get this time? I must know. Pure musk. It's like when you don't take a shower for a while. Okay, Style Icon. Ah, that's a pretty cool looking little bottle here. The name of the house, some of the fragrance right there on the front, kind of this green coloration to it. So I'm expecting something fresh. Hit me with the freshness, dog. Come on. This atomizer hates me. Not fresh, not green. Um, okay, so this is quite similar to uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Scandal. For, for men, Scandal for men. <laughs> Just in case there was any confusion there. So it is sweet. It's got that lavender, caramel kind of vibe going on. Little hint of that uh, citrus, that mandarin off the top. Tonka, yeah, Scandal, this is Scandal. This is opening up really nicely off the strip. Super frustrated that I can't just spray these on skin and see what's doing. Like I said, I, I could, but then I would have a dry down of something else coming out, you know, underneath it, I'd essentially be layering and then it would not really be, you know, the, the best way to judge how these come across. I'm gonna respray this real quick on a different one. There we go, thank you, Atomizer. Yeah, so the opening off the strip, it smells really good. You can tell that it's Scandal, but just a, a couple minutes in and it gets a really nice warmth to the sweetness that ramps it up, just makes it smell more appealing. So I wanted to smell that opening again. And it smells good, it does, but after a couple minutes, this smells real nice. Dang. Okay, so no losers here. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty confident. Uh, Ganymede, Aventus style, uh, Ombre Nomad, Scandal. Aventus style. <laughs> All right, let me run through these uh, real quick, just once more. I like Ganymede though. I like Ganymede a bunch. So I know some people don't jive with it. Some people that kind of minerality, that flintiness, that kind of water seeping through slate stone aspect, they don't like. I like it a lot. And this has that in spades. That might be my favorite. Yeah, sweet, man. It's sweet. It's sweet Aventus. Sweet Aventus. Not in a bad way though, actually. Really, really, really good. It might be my, might be my number two. Saffron, rose, oud kind of vibes, right? With that little raspberry kick. Um, really nice, really smooth, well done. It's a good scandal, it's good. Yeah, so for my own personal favorites here, probably Brilliant Silver. I think that is a killer alternative to Ganymede uh, on the cheap compared to the price that Ganymede goes for. This stuff is really, 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 really nice. I like that one a lot. And I actually really enjoy this as a, an Aventus alternative. And then these two I enjoy a whole lot as well, uh, but I'm gonna have to go out of these four, my two favorites. Although I really like this uh, Scandal one here. And I wanna wear this one. Um, I wanna compare it to Scandal because that's actually smelling fantastic off the strip. And that one, the more that it stays on here. But I'm gonna tentatively say that uh, all of these actually smell really, really good. And if you can pick these up for uh, a solid price, none of these are losers. And then I want to reiterate once again, it's Essential, Loam Ultime, and then Victory, Harry Valentino. So these are also absolutely killer. I don't know, man. Actually, it's just all of them. All good. That'll do it for me, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I have some other Rasasi fragrances, like I said, that I have not opened yet. Uh, so I'm going to save those. We'll do it in a future video and, and see what's going with those as well. Thank you guys, stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow. See you later.